Right, I'd just like to show you, uh, hopefully this will work, I've just bought this car, it's a 1996 Toyota Corolla and it's got an unusual sort of um, connector, now it's hard to see because it, um, the, well, this sort of thing here is the standard one, or this, I, I keep a selection if I change it. A wiper blade. I, I always keep all these things because this is the problem that you uh, that we have sometimes. Now, under here, there is a little lever, but I could could not work out anything to do with it. It does move, but I could not get it off. Now, how or if anyone has ever changed these before, or how they've done it, I honestly don't know. But the blade it, it, the blade will pop off that off the pivot. And so maybe that's what they've done. They've just taken the pivot out and uh, and just kept clipping it back onto the uh, to the original thing. Or maybe they're just smarter than I am, which is a distinct possibility, I must say. <coughs> right. Anyway, what I found out after messing around for about half an hour with pushing this lever around and putting up screwdrivers up behind it, I noticed originally, but I couldn't work out how they were connected. There's little holes in the side. You can see another one just there. And so you've got two little rectangular holes in the side. Now what I found was if you put a very thin flat blade screwdriver into the um, the slot and you and force it under there's some sort of pin or plate under there and you you just pull it up. Now I have pulled it back a little bit now once again doing this one handed there we go, and it comes out. So I just see sort of the sun setting behind me here, but basically I'm just trying to get it to focus there. But that's all I've done is put it in that hole, and then so you lift lift it up. The for so you're forcing something inside the thing towards the top of the uh, of that retainer. Now to get out. Now I'll just show you something. Every time I work on windscreen wipers, I always try and put a um, a bit of sponge or cloth or something because if something happens as in that when I pulled it out it came out quite quickly and if that bumps and goes down well you're only going to get one result and that's going to hit the windscreen goodbye to a um, you know, couple of hundred dollars for that so just throw something on your windscreen to protect it now one of the ones that I, I have kept is this one here very simple and straightforward little lever on the the back there and so we just test it first Nice little satisfying click, and we have the um, we have it in there, nice and secure. Just test it, pull the little lever, and out it comes. Now that's a hundred times easier than this dirty great big thing here, which is a um, try something or other Trico. So it's a it's a good brand, but I've never seen that before, and I've changed a fair few wipers in the time. But anyway, that's uh, that was a, an interesting little bit of time spent messing around with that. So now it's just a matter of uh, putting the new blades on, and uh, good luck to anyone else who uh, has the misfortune to come across that particular kind of clip.